Hello, strangers. Haven't seen y'all in a while. So today I'm going to show you how to take some regular cans. If you have one of these can openers that opens it on the side so that it comes off like this and doesn't cut you, then you can wash this out and use it for a safe. I'm going to show you how to do that a couple different ways. You also can collect a, a bunch of them. Take some kind of monster glue, super glue, whatever you want to use. Seal the edges. Leave them empty and give them to your kids for their play food. If they have the little kitchens. I just was thinking... Uh, this can opener I, I've had it for a little bit but when I got it I was like wow this comes off so good I mean the edges are so smooth what could I use the cans for so then I got thinking about the hidden safe and I'm going to show you a couple different ways one way this is a larger can that I accidentally opened from the bottom it still works find a jar that'll fit inside you could use a bigger jar just needs to you know fit the the length of it and with a screw on lid and then you're going to glue the lid onto here and if you have the the banded uh, like a jelly jar I mean a mason jar you're going to need to remember to glue the band to the ring and then glue the ring to the inside of the can and then my idea for this was to use actually my first idea this would have been perfect. Put this seal inside the can. Let me turn you down here where you can see. Ah! Okay, if you used this Mine's broken, or I would show you how to do it. I, I let it dry up, then I tried to fix the cap, and nothing was working. But you could spray the foam inside, then quickly set your jar in, which you should glue to your lid first, so that you could set it in at the correct depth. Set your jar in, let the foam dry, then unscrew your lid. But, since I don't have that, uh, that option, I was going to use this caulk. I don't know how well it's going to work on this one. Because I've got a lot of depth to cover. But, let me try this. Okay, another thing is, you could take some kind of a plastic... This is an old creamer bottle, old uh, seasoning bottle, and then cut it. I had started on this before I started the video, and I didn't measure this. Might be just right. Almost. Okay, so the same principle. You're going to glue the lid on and make sure it's a screw on lid. And then you could just put caulk in the bottom of here. Stick your, your plastic bottle down inside of it. Let it dry. And then you have a screw off lid. Now here's another thing I wanted to tell you with a glass jar it gives some weight 
to the can. Because if you're trying to hide something in your pantry, you don't want someone to pick up a heavy can and then go to the next can and it's really light. They'll catch on. So the glass jar really gives it significant weight. But here's another idea. These are the, the little cloth bags with the freezer beads in them. If you just put, need to put some cash in there, put your cash in, put these beads in for weight, put this on top, stick it in the back of the pantry, there you go. And I would suggest using cans with things that not a lot of people like, like lima beans. I love them, but some people don't. Maybe beets or spinach, carrots. And you could use uh, the taller can like this. Look, this jelly jar is the perfect size. Of course, I haven't used the spaghetti sauce or the jelly, but when they get used, I'm going to remember that. So, that's all I really had today. I just was opening cans about a week ago and I was thinking oh there's got to be a good use for these cans and so I started collecting them up and trying to think and I came about on stashing stuff in there so I'm actually going to use a couple of these for sash jars and I'm just going to hide them in my pantry but uh, I don't have kids that live here another good idea of if you have kids at home and you're trying to hide some candy you don't want them having all that sugar stick it in the bean can put the can in the pantry you still got the candy for when you want to let them have some or for yourself or whatever they don't know when they open the pantry put it in something they hate like sauerkraut or whatever and stash it in there so that's it for uh this video i'm about to make a video for next week about uh different kind of birthday banners so if you're interested in that it goes along with my centerpieces and cupcake stands they're uh simple things that you can make with pretty much already pre-made stuff you just add the embellishments to make it special for that one of a kind like i love lucy star trek whatever fan if you have a fan that they don't like uh they like something that you can't find at the stores so that's what I'm going to work on next. After that, who knows? Oh, my daughter did give me a good idea about some ornament hangers. And I'm going to get some stuff together so that we can make some of those. I know it's July when I'm putting this video up. And Christmas comes quicker than you think. So, alrighty. I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.